through the process of setting up your Meta API trading slot. Uh, so if you've never heard of Meta API or if you've never visited their website, uh, you'll want to go ahead and go over uh, to their platform, metaapi.cloud. Go ahead and, and uh, sign up. I'm not going to walk through the sign up because it's modern times and you should know how to sign up for a platform. So um, I've gone ahead and verified my email <clears throat> and then it wants me to verify uh, my my geographic location. So let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and do that. Once you get that done, you'll be given this page and we're going to want to um, add a new account. But before you go to this step, you want to make sure that you have your uh, MetaTrader account information handy, uh, like I do here, and uh, because you'll need it when you add a new account. So we'll go ahead and click on Add a New Account, and it'll give you the cost. They'll actually give you a credit uh, when you're finished signing up, but there is a cost associated with this. I think for, in my case, it runs around $10 a month. 10 US dollars a month, uh, but I have a lot of signals. I send a lot of signals through their API. So I think it's a little bit higher than what most people would experience. <clears throat> there is a YouTube tutorial here, which you can watch if you want, but it's horrible um, and has no audio at all. And I, I have watched it several times and couldn't figure out what they were doing. Uh, so let's go ahead and go move forward here. We're gonna say, uh, account type. Uh, in this case, we want the Forex API. Uh, in my case, I want MetaTrader 5. I'm in Chicago, so I'm going to do New York at least to start, and I'm going to show you how to create a redundancy. Um, we don't need this. I'm going to click Next. Uh, so... So you're going to put in your account name. Um, then your MetaTrader login. And then your MetaTrader password. No. And then your MetaTrader server name. Okay, and then you're going to click confirm and then you're going to go create uh, it'll give you the instant instance and then we'll go confirm and this will sometimes take a few minutes sometimes it won't it'll take you forever a uh, successful account creation this is deployed um, right now it's telling us that it's disconnected from the um, Meta quotes demo. Um, so let's go ahead and close this. And then I'm going to show you how to actually create a redundancy. Well, a couple things. I'm going to show you how to create your API access token. So let's do that first. Uh, and see, it will auto populate what you need. So you don't have to worry about any of this stuff. This is your validity time, like how long the, the access token is good for. Then we're going to click Generate Access Access Token. It'll walk us through the Cloudflare verification. And then here's our token. So you're going to want to hang on to this. You're, you're going to want to copy this and keep it someplace. We'll just go ahead and put it with our other information here. 
And then let's go back here. Uh, and now we're going to create a redundancy. What's our reason for undeployed insufficient balance? Okay, so I got to actually have to add a deposit. Uh, let's create a redundancy. We're going to add a replica in a different region. In this case, the other region is London. And the reason that you would want to do this is because if there's an issue in your region, it'll fall over to the other region. So it, it just gives you a redundant connection, which is something that's extremely important in any kind of automated trading. So we'll go ahead and click next. We don't need a magic or expert value. I'm gonna go create and we'll say confirm. Oh, well, so this is the process. They want me to top up my account that I just created <coughs> uh, because there is a charge with, de with deploying the additional feature. But um, so if you look in billing here, Oh, wow, I owe them $2. In the past, what they would do is they would actually give you a $5 credit. I don't know that that's the case anymore. Um, but you can do deposit and walk through the process here uh, and deposit your funds. Uh, you will need to pay for this, of course, because it ensures the best um, reliability. But that's how the process works.